Welcome to the vlog. I just, well, I'm still working a little bit, but I got done with the bulk of my work right now. And oh, I'm out of memory. I'll be right back. Okay, and now we're back. Trevor was very, very nice and brought me a mid afternoon Chipotle run as a surprise. Oh, okay. Um, so we are, oh, sorry, here you go. There he is. So we are gonna eat right now and then Actually, I was gonna tell the vlog. So Trevor just came from work, but his regular work yes. today. Yes. Yeah. Which is at, why I'm purpled out. Yeah. Today he went back to athletic training. They're doing a little bit of training during the summertime. Physicals. Was, was that him that just growled, or was that you moving as a cat? I moved something. Oh, got it. Oh. Okay. I was uh, I was gonna sit there to eat my taco, but. Apparently not. So yeah, Trevor is back. He's still at Home Depot though, at least through summertime, especially too right now with like the governor reshutting things down. The uncertainty. Yeah, hopefully he's like, as of right now, the plan is he is still going back, especially in the fall and to start teaching. He's been working on getting his credentials over the last um, couple weeks. I have a classroom but, now. Yes, he has a classroom. He's putting together a class plan or what is it? Syllabus. A course and, plan? Yeah. What have you been calling it? Don't worry about it. Exactly. I can't remember. Anyways, um, so he's been working on that. So fingers crossed he gets to go back and can quit Home Depot soon. Love you. Love you. Okay, so I got the tacos again this time that I got last time I got Chipotle, but I did carnitas this time instead. Okay, you hear those fireworks? got the TV on really, really loud right now with the fireworks show. We have alerted all of our neighbors that we're doing this. Are you already done? Well, look at you, buddy. You're already done. So we've been turning on the fireworks at night while he's eating. It's supposed to help him associate the firework noise with like being safe, being okay. In fact, it's like more of like a happy association because he's getting food. So we turn it on fairly loud, as you can tell. I can't even tell if you guys will be able to hear me. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. You did so good, buddy. But we're a little bit suspicious that it's not really the noise that freaks him out. I think that it's like the boom in the air because like dogs can feel like that pressure. So I think that that's what it is. But either way, it's helping. We had a few fireworks go off over the course of the last few nights and he was pretty okay. He got nervous. Like he got off from where he was sitting and he sat in this little corner where he is right now. But that's a huge improvement from him hiding in the bathroom. And also he wasn't shaking. He wasn't panting. He was looking around a little bit nervous but he was pretty okay and as much as it sucks that all like fireworks shows and stuff have been canceled for this year that may mean that we may not have as many fireworks going off this year which will be helpful for him or it could mean that more people are going to do at home fireworks which is going to be tricky because then they'll be closer and they'll be here but we think that he is going to be doing pretty okay this year besides that we also did get him this calming collar, hi buddy, which has a pheromone in it. So anytime he's stressed, it kind of releases that pheromone to help calm him down. And then I showed you guys this in the last vlog when I unboxed it, but we also, oh, where'd they go? They're right here. We also got him these calming treats from the Only Natural Pet. These are the Just Relax Herbal Calming Support Treats. He does not like the taste of it, so I kind of have to like crush it up in his dinner, which means I have to feed him dinner a little bit early because you need to give it to them at least 30 minutes before the event starts happening that stresses him out. So I've been feeding him earlier, putting those fireworks on, and just like the trio of those seems to have helped quite a bit. So if you've always tried like one of those things at a time in the past for your dog try doing all of them because i think for dogs that are very anxious like spartacus they just need a little bit more effort and work especially if you don't want to sedate them which is what we're trying to avoid so so far the method of doing all three has seemed to help him out quite a bit so it is currently thursday afternoon and i had a half day at work so Fourth of July weekend has officially started, so we are heading to the beach right now. Because uh, today, apparently, so is everybody. 
Oh shoot, I should, I'll turn that way. <laughs> um, Every time. Anyways, so we're heading to the beach because beaches are closed down this weekend, but luckily not today, because today is not the weekend yet. So we still have some time. I just gotta like keep this tan going. I am so dark right now. <laughs> like I'm so dark. What? Yes, you are. <laughs> But yeah, we actually kind of have like a busy weekend. We're eating some kettle corn. Today's actually my sister's birthday, but we're gonna have dinner for her birthday. I'm put the air conditioning on. Okay. Tomorrow. Um, and then the next day is Fourth of July, which we're trying to figure out. Independence Day. We might barbecue with our neighbors because I know like you know, there's not like fireworks or anything. Well, there's no official fireworks going off. From what I hear is everybody's going to Vegas and Arizona buying fireworks and bringing them over here because they know the city fireworks are canceled. Mm -hmm. So civilians are just going to put on a hell of a display in Orange County, that's for sure. Which though is worse for us though with Spartacus yes. because that means the fireworks are closer. I think we should get out the blanket. Okay. Because you like the blanket. Yeah, we'll put the thunder jacket on him too. Oh, that's what I meant. Sorry. Thunder jacket. He didn't really react as much last night. No. He just like, he was on the couch and he went and he sat down like in the little corner of the couch though. But no shaking, no hiding. Um, yeah, he's pretty good. some of this lemonade. We found this in our liquor store right before we left, but this is a blueberry Hubert's lemonade. And it does not have liquor. It does not. It's just a regular old lemonade. Thought we'd enjoy it on the beach. A little lemonade guy. Yeah. Little summertime action. It's actually really good. It's a little bit sour, a little bit tart, but like not too much, like the perfect amount. <laughs> Hello and good morning. It's currently Friday. Starting on my big ass jug at 11.30. I will make it. I promise that I will, but I'm quite behind on this. But I actually figured out yesterday how to make the perfect vanilla latte using our milk frother. So I'm actually <laughs> but it's super hot this morning. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and make an iced one this morning and oh my God, I am so tan. <laughs> I was like worried that I didn't get a tan yesterday because it was actually kind of cool at the beach, but I am super tan, oh my God. Anyways, but for the latte, the way that I like it, I'm gonna be using 2% milk and then also my Coffee Me Natural Bliss Vanilla Creamer. And then I'm gonna be using this capsule from Nespresso. This is their vanilla capsule. So I'll go ahead and lower you guys so you can see. So for the milk for the latte, I'm gonna go up to the minimum line with my creamer, and then I'm gonna go up to the max froth line with the milk. And even though I'm gonna make an iced one, I am just gonna do it on the hot froth just because I feel like it just mixes with the coffee a little bit better. So I'm only gonna press it once because I wanna do a hard froth for the latte. Pop this in. And I'm just gonna press the small setting just to make a shot of this espresso. Really wish we had more ice, but we didn't refill the tray. So I'm just gonna take the shot, put it right in here. Please ignore my cat. And now just the froth. Oh gosh, that's still going. I did not realize that that was still going. It's so quiet. Okay, now it's done. And just pour it right in. Okay, 
And there we go, just an iced vanilla latte. And this is actually really, really good. I had it hot yesterday, and my go-to order at Starbucks used to be a skinny soy vanilla latte, and this tastes exactly like it. It's crazy. So basically, I discovered how to make a Starbucks vanilla latte at home. Mmm, spot on. So good. Okay, so Trevor and I are gonna head out here in a second and just shoot some content really quick for a brand I'm working with. I'm working with Elizabeth Lynn Jewelry. They sent me a couple of pieces to shoot. So this first one is this really, really pretty choker. I just like love these like, come on focus, focus. I just love these kind of like triangle little details to this necklace. So I'm shooting that and also a pair of earrings. They're just like a pair of these little moon earrings, kind of like a hammered gold material. Really, really pretty. So I'm gonna put all of these on and then we're gonna like run out to a little spot that we found on one of our walks and shoot these. Okay, so we got done taking the pictures. Trevor did a tremendous job. And we have Spar to Fart back there. Just panting away. It's really, really hot right now, but we're on our way to my sister's place because we're gonna do now a family dinner, but we're gonna drop him off at her place beforehand so he can like hang out with his cousins. And also too, it's literally a five minute walk to my parents' place from her place. So we just figured we'll meet up there, hang out, have some pre-cocktails before we head over to my parents. Okay, so we're stopping by Target really quick to get my sister a birthday present, but this movie theater over here is where Trevor and my first date was. We saw 10,000 BC, and then we went on a walk afterwards. So we're here, Trevor and Spart are gonna stay in here. Oh my God. <laughs> so I'm just going in. I saw like a Friends t-shirt that I wanna see if they have, but if not, we have a backup gift, so. See you in a bit, babe. Mm -hmm. You gonna walk in so you can walk to poop somewhere? No. No? Okay. So we're packing everything up. I got her this bag. Got some kettle because that's her favorite and then I couldn't find a friend shirt that was cute in her size but this one says dog mom and she is a dog lover and obviously a dog mom so grabbed her that one as well then got this card it says I didn't choose the pug life the pug life chose me I just thought it was hilarious inside it just says happy birthday <laughs> so front really has nothing to do with birthdays, but I thought it was just too cute and funny. I never filled up my water bottle last night, so that is this morning's project. But happy 4th of July, you guys. So our plans have honestly changed so much. I think we're gonna kinda like hang out around the house for the morning time and just kind of like relax and stuff. And then later one of our friends' neighborhoods is having, I think like a block party or something, like a socially distanced block party. Like everyone's doing stuff out on their lawns, but they're staying like confined to like their space. So they've invited us to swing by because they're gonna be doing like fireworks and stuff in the street. So they said that we could like watch from their lawn and stuff. So I think we're gonna do that just so that we can do some kind of like 4th of July thing. We are gonna be safe. We're gonna stay distant like from the people that we don't know and enjoy like watching the fireworks going on in the street. But that's the plan so far. Like I said, our plans keep changing. But for right now, I think I'm just gonna hang out, gonna brew up a cup of coffee and finish editing my video for tomorrow, which is my summer what's in my bag. And we also may go out on a walk as well. Not quite sure yet. Like I said, we're just gonna kind of play the day by ear today. And sorry by the way that I like fell off yesterday. Just like once we got to my sister's, it was kind of like family time. So I didn't really feel like bringing the camera out or anything but we got spark nice and tired with his cousin they played like all night long and then we went over to our parents house and they ordered us Roma d'Italia which is this really really amazing Italian restaurant in Tustin I've gone there on the vlogs a couple of times anytime Michelle and I shoot in Tustin we always go there for like lunch slash dinner so highly recommend Roma d'Italia if ever you're in the Tustin area
we are still trying to figure out what we're doing, but I just want to go ahead and get ready just so that once we figure out what's going on, we can uh, just hit the ground running. It's currently midday. We might go on a walk or something so and get some food especially, see what is possibly open. But we very well might just like go ahead and leave for our friend's like neighborhood little thing as soon as we get back. So I just want to be ready for anything and everything. So I'm just going to do some heatless curls right now, which is also why I'm trying to get started now because this can take a little while because I want it to like sit in my hair and set for a little bit. So if this is your first time here, I've actually shown these before, but you basically just need two headbands, put it around your head like that, and you just twist your hair around the headband and just kind of like a French braid every time you go in to do like a new twist pick up a little bit more hair. crazy for probably about an hour or so then I'll take it out I've like noticed that an hour is probably like the perfect spot for me as far as like how soft I want the waves if I leave it in any longer the waves just get like too kinky and too defined and it's just like not what I'm going for so probably just gonna do about an hour or so in this do my makeup and then take it out okay so Trevor and I have decided we're gonna go get lunch get some all-american burgers from a local all-american business so I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair out I've had it in for probably about an hour right now, so I'm gonna go in with this Joyco Power Spray. It's a fast drying um, hairspray, and I'm just gonna lightly mist my hair with it while it's still in here, and give it just like a second to dry, because since I don't have these curls up like overnight, I just wanna make sure that they're gonna stay. So give it a second to set in this position, and then just go ahead and peel these off gently. Look at that. Perfect. So last time I did it overnight, it was just like way too much on the curls. So I've definitely noticed that if I just do it for an hour or so during the day as I'm getting ready, it becomes these like perfect soft waves that I want. So I love the way that this came out. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray it up a little bit more. Probably we'll need to recurl some pieces before we head to our friend's place a little bit later, but for right now, this is looking good. So we're gonna go ahead and get going and, well, Trevor's gonna get burgers, but I don't eat beef, so I'm probably either gonna get a grilled cheese or some chicken tenders. All right, got Spartacus in the back here. We're just waiting on Trevor. He went in to go say hi to our neighbors. I feel like I really need to curl this side. Like this side came out really well. This side didn't. We'll see. It's very, very hot today. It's currently 81 degrees. Definitely summertime. The AC on full blast for Spartacus. Open up the window so he can smell. So we're going to the Wedge, which is just like a local burger joint that we Googled that is in this area. I thought we'd check it out. What's it named after? The Wedge. Do people on your thing know what the wedge is? <laughs> the wedge is like, it, is it like a stretch of beach or it's just like kind a of. section it's of a the section beach? of the beach. Yeah, it's like a famous. As far south of Newport as you can go before you hit CDM. Yeah, it's a famous section of like Newport Beach. Was it? Is it between like two jetties or something like that? Or um, what makes it? Like, so what it is is there's a jetty that goes out made of rocks, and the current crashes up against the the jetty. And then as it's coming back, it crashes up against another current coming in. And it creates a really good sized wave. And then it's super shallow there. So it, it, instead of like a normal four foot wave, it turns into an eight foot wave. And you can only body surf there, right? Yeah, body it's way too like shallow to regular surf. Because yeah, yeah it, it, you would get messed up. Like even body boarders have a hard, or uh, boogie boarding. I don't know what the correct terminology is. They get messed up pretty bad, but it's awesome. You Even when there's a, a storm surge, you get like 10 to 12 foot waves over there. So people just sit out and watch the very experienced boogie burgers do their thing. Yeah. So we're going to the burger joint that it's named after. I guess you could say it's a Newport landmark. Yeah, it is. 
and we always want to try at least one or two mom and pop places in our area now. Yeah, because we just like we were talking the other day when we were driving through places and we realized like we have a lot of mom and pop places here, like lots of good opportunities to try like something you can't try anywhere else. So that's why we wanted like a mom and pop burger joint for today as opposed to just like going to Hot Dotty or like Burger Palace or is it Burger Lounge or whatever or like the counter. Those are like kind of like high end burger places but they're kind of chains which like the burgers are good don't get us wrong but we just wanted to support the local yeah. economy yeah exactly okay so i got some chicken tenders Trevor got a double cheeseburger, and then we got some fries. Also got a pink lemonade, and I am gonna dip everything of mine in the Trader Joe's tomato ketchup with black summer truffle. This stuff is so freaking good. Okay, so we are heading out to go hopefully see some like little neighborhood fireworks. I recurled my hair just like a little bit just to give it a little bit more of a bend. The heatless curls didn't hold too well. I think you need to do it for like at least two hours. So I now I know time. next time. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it still looks pretty good. But yeah, we're excited to go actually do something that's like 4th of July. <laughs> place where we were watching the fireworks go off in the neighborhood and dang it's still go it's literally going off on either side of the car right now but since we're in Huntington we figured we might as well stop by the donuttery we used to live literally right beside it I'm so sorry you guys can't see me that well and it's a 24 7 donut place you don't have a light in there I've tried it it doesn't work I was like don't know so we're gonna grab some donuts really quick because the donut place by us is not that great. But we're gonna do it like super fast because I just got really worried about Spartacus. He's definitely 100% in the bathroom, probably shaking, and I just like, I felt bad. I was like, well, let's just head back and check on him, hang out with him because- Band parents. Yeah. Hunting, or Costa Mesa is not going off as bad as Huntington for sure, but it's probably not that Pretty far. Pretty close. Yeah, I was gonna say, it, it's not that far off from, from Huntington, so. Um, quick stop for donuts Jesus. and then gonna go back to him to make sure he's okay. Not that you guys can see super well. Oh, actually, the slaying's pretty good. We got our donuts from the donuttery. We got three glazed. Trevor's already taken one. One red velvet fudge, it's delicious. One chocolate sprinkle, and then one blueberry glazed. And then I also got an iced coffee from them because mm, their iced coffee is bomb and it tastes exactly like coffee ice cream. So freaking good, like literally. Delicious.
Okay, hey you guys, good morning. I'm currently having one of these La Colombe cold brew coffees because I cannot have any sugar right now. Last night, between the White Claws we had, we brought White Claws to like watch all of those fireworks in the neighborhood, and then the donuts too, I was on like a sugar hangover slash overload. By like midnight, I was not feeling good. I had a headache, I felt really, really sick. So I just like, I cannot stomach any sugar today. So I'm just gonna have black coffee as opposed to like whipping something up with my creamer and stuff. Plus I'm out of the creamer, so I mean like, it all works out. But I was like feeling so terrible. So I decided to try taking one of the hydration multipliers from Liquid IV because I know that they can help with hangovers. I wasn't like hungover from the alcohol or anything. It was the, just the combination of that and all the sugar from the donuts that I ate was just like too much for me because I've been eating pretty well. And then also too, I barely had any water yesterday. I did not drink my big gallon yesterday. So I was dehydrated and I was like overloaded on sugar between like the donuts and the alcohol. And I also had like two different lemonades during the day and just like a bunch of junk. So my body just wasn't happy. So I decided to try drinking these once I started feeling bad. And actually Trevor was on a little bit of a sugar hangover too, cause he also had a pint of ice cream. So we both drink one of these each. And I know that for me, especially about halfway through my drink, I started to feel like almost 100% better. So another really great thing about these liquid IVs, highly, highly suggest to have some on hand, especially if you get out of control drinking or just like, dehydrate yourself during the day, have too much sugar, whatever. This is like really, really good for helping to like re-regulate your body as far as like your water balance and everything goes. So plus like I love these when I have like a super active day and stuff just to really make sure that I'm nice and hydrated. Our favorite flavor is the lemon lime and I do have a code for 25% off that you guys can use. I do get a little bit of a commission from it if you guys use that code, but it costs nothing for you. So it's a win-win. And also for every purchase that they receive of these, they'll donate a pack to the people working in the front lines of the pandemic so just really all around it's like a win 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 so definitely check them out if you guys need any kind of like hydration thing like that they also have a sleep and energy one as well and then they also have like a few other flavors so i'll link all of their info down below along with that discount code if you guys are interested in taking a look okay so i just got done at target so i have my mask on because i'm walking over to a sandwich shop that i saw here on my way in i sent it to trevor and we've like been really into trying like new restaurants and stuff that we spot around and about here in Costa Mesa. So this place is called The Bronx and I've been like on a sandwich kick. So I sent it to him and he said it looked good. So we're gonna give this place a try. But I realized I should update you guys on yesterday. The Wedge Burger, super, super good. If you guys are ever in Costa Mesa and you want a burger, highly suggest going to the Wedge Burger. So we got fries, fries are for Trevor, and then also got their homemade potato chips. These are for me because I am obsessed with potato chips and I love it when restaurants have homemade ones. I always love to try them. I've clearly been snacking on the bag as I drove home and they're pretty good. Not the best homemade potato chips I've ever had in my life, but I would definitely order them again. Then for the sandwiches, I just got a caprese sandwich. And then Trevor got something called the Mobster, which I believe is like hot pastrami and all of the stuff that goes with pastrami. I'm not very familiar, so that one's for him. So here is his pastrami one. I am not a pastrami person, but I'd imagine if you like pastrami, that looks really, really good. And then, like I said, I got the Caprese one. That looks freaking delicious. Yes, oh my does. god. Okay, you guys, so I gave in. And sorry for the whispering, Trevor's napping right here in the other room. But the social media campaigns got me. So when I was at Target, I picked up a couple of products from Pantene's new waterless line. Um, I got the Cheat Day Dry Shampoo Foam. I specifically wanted to try the foam. Oh, okay. Bye. <laughs> um, I specifically wanted to try the foam because to me personally, Dove's dry shampoo is the best that there is and ever will be. But I was intrigued by the thought of a like 
dry shampoo foam. So I got this one and then I was also dying to try their dry conditioner mist. I've never tried a dry conditioner and just heads up, I am not sponsored. I just like literally gave in to everyone's reviews and I'm like, okay, I want to dry it. So this is going to be a non-sponsored, super honest review of these products. I'm going to use both products on this side and then we'll see how it looks compared to the side that like hasn't had any product applied. So I'm going to start out with this the way that you squeeze it. Am I squeezing this the right way? Yeah, this has to be the right way. God, my camera's gonna die, come on. That came out so fast, but there you go. Okay, that's a lot. I feel like, it feels so weird to, to apply mousse to my hair. I haven't touched mousse in so long and I feel like this is gonna make my hair wet. Ow, my freaking tip powder. Oh my God, it just like ripped out all of my hair. Okay, so you apply it. Ugh, I feel like it made my hair super, super wet, but set to apply and then brush out. Ugh, I think I put too much in the front and it's like dry out. So really just go in with a little bit. Oh my God, oh my God, this is not going well. Okay, now that I've brushed it out and it's dried itself a little bit. Yeah, that looks, um. That looks refreshed. I think I still prefer my regular Dove dry shampoo so far, but crap, my battery's gonna die. But this isn't bad at all. Like I would use this if I ran out of my Dove dry shampoo, but I think I like that better. So, but for the shampoo foam, it's okay. I wouldn't say no to using it, but it just wasn't as revolutionary as I had wanted it to be. Um, but let's go ahead and try the dry conditioner. Let's spray out here first. There we go. So, I'm gonna apply mid length, two ends. Okay, let's see here. I mean, did that really make that much of a difference, honestly? Or is my hair just like so damaged that like nothing's gonna help it? Except for the thing I'm gonna do next week, you guys will see. But, I mean, Honestly, I feel like if I wanted to refresh the ends, I would go in with this. This is from BioSilk and this is a spray shine. So watch this magic. Spray it on and boom, my hair is shiny and fresh again. Like I feel like this is better. So overall on this little collection, so far not that impressed. I'm gonna try to do just like a little bit this time on this side. Yeah, not that impressed. A little bit bummed about it. I don't know. I'll keep using it. I mean, I bought it. It's not the worst, so I'll use this once in a while and let you guys know if it ends up in my July favorites, then you know I ended up changing my, my opinion on it, but we shall see. I mean, my hair looks okay. This front section I expected to look better. You know, I'm gonna do it. Oh my God, it's so much better with the Dove Dry Shampoo. Look at that, that looks way better. So, okay, I can pretty much show you this, like shampoo foam, not really loving it, but I'll keep using the dry conditioner mist and let you guys know. Good evening, you guys. So I just got back from Trader Joe's and I'm still like pretty full from lunch earlier. That sandwich place, it was okay. It wasn't anything like, crazy amazing but we liked it if we were in the area and we were trying to figure out something to eat we would definitely have it again it's just like it's not gonna be like we're ever gonna be craving it or be like ooh, I desperately want to go get sandwiches from the Bronx sandwich shop but I'd probably give it like a B the caprese sandwich kind of threw me off a little bit because they put lettuce in it and I was like that's weird you know but now is dinner time and like I said I just got back from Trader Joe's I'm not that hungry but I am going to make something a little bit creative that I wanted to share with you guys. So last time I went to Trader Joe's, I got these cauliflower thins and they were amazing. I used them as the sandwich buns for the Trader Joe's meatless patties. And let me tell you, that was delicious. And I was thinking about it and I was like, I would love to use this as like a mini pizza sometime. So since I'm not that hungry, I figured I might as well give that a try. I'm just gonna toast this in the oven. And I'm just gonna do one because I'm gonna do a salad with it. So I'm just gonna 
pop it on pretty self-explanatory and I'm just gonna pop it into the broiler for right now I don't really have a set time especially because the broiler is still preheating right now so I just want to toast it up a little bit so as long as it takes me to do the next steps is how long this is gonna toast for okay so for my little mini pizza I am gonna do a pesto pizza so I'm gonna use the Trader Joe's Genova pesto and then I just got this from Trader Joe's today these are whole milk fresh mozzarella these are like little mozzarella balls some Kalamata olives I wanted black olives but I thought we had some we don't so we're going with Kalamata it's fine some San Marzano tomatoes and then some basil okay so we are ready to go starting out with some of this pesto this is like seriously my favorite pesto it's so good i'm just gonna take a scoop that i just spilled on the counter but it's fine i'm just gonna be generous with it because like i said this is my absolute favorite pesto so no regrets and the mozzarella the tomatoes so the olives the basil right over top I'll do a little bit more once it comes out, but I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the broiler for about 10 minutes or so. Okay, so while all that gets going, I'm gonna put together a little side salad for myself here. I'm just gonna take some baby spring mix, put a little bit in a bowl. Then I'm just gonna take the leftover tomatoes, cause why not? Then some cucumber. Then some of the Trader Joe's Olive Tapenade. This is like one of my favorite products from them. And then I just got this today. This is their organic cucumber kefir dressing. I've heard really, really good things about this dressing. Like it's pretty healthy and stuff. And I looked at the nutrition panel on the back and it's actually not too bad. There's not too much sodium in here. Only like 160 milligrams of sodium which is pretty good for a dressing there's only two sugars in here again good for a dressing and then only 50 calories per two teaspoons drizzle that right over top then i'm gonna take these multi-grain pita chips just two of them should be good and just kind of break them up crush them up just right over top there we go i forgot red onion okay now that's all done <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and eat dinner and end the vlog here. I want to start uploading the clip so I can edit this and get this all turned around in time for you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed spending 4th of July weekend with me. And I will see you guys in the next vlog where I'm actually going to be doing a little bit of a glow up. You guys will see what I'm talking about then. Or if you guys can't wait to see what I'm going to be doing to myself this week, make sure to follow me on Instagram. As always, all of my social media handles are linked down below. And I will see you guys very soon.